Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I hope that the moniker shortlisted for the Samuel Johnson Prize or winner of the Samuel Johnson Prize will in future carry each of the authors here tonight a small distance further as it has those in earlier years. On his gravestone are written Roy Jenkins, writer and politician. He, he would have wanted that formulation. John Campbell has produced a biography entirely worthy of a great biographer. The Iceberg by Marion Coots is an immensely powerful book, written with a grace, candor and artistry that made a deep impression on all the judges. The story at the heart of Greg Grandin's absorbing and endlessly fascinating book, he gives us a new understanding not only of the slave trade in the Age of Liberty, but also of the nature of freedom itself in this empire of necessity into which we are all born. There were many things that impressed the judges about Alison Light's common people. Family history worth its salt must ask big questions, she writes. And on finishing this book, you do feel that she has opened up a rich new seam in the study of history from below. This is a book about grief. It is honest and personal. Helen has produced a profound meditation on the line between living and dying. There is a clear distinction between history and myth. We admire Caroline for standing up for that distinction in her book. So I'm happy to announce that Helen MacDonald is the winner of the Samuel Johnson Prize for 2014 with H is the Hawk. Congratulations from all of us. I'd want to say that it's a particularly deep joy to me that a book that's about the extraordinary complex relationship between humans and the environment um, could win a prize like this. You know, we're, the environment's in enormously dark times. You know, we've lost 430 million birds in Europe in the last 30 years. And if a book like this can catch fire and ignite wonderment and, and, and love of these things in people, then, then you know, my, my, my work is done. Um, thank you very, very much.